Hi everybody and welcome to early morning prayer request and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. These first four prayer requests I'm going to need uh, updates on. It's it's be a little over, it's been like eight days, uh, so uh, we need updates on them if you if they still need uh, prayer. Okay. The first one is pray for great comfort for Jessica's cousins. They lost their daughters, and and they uh, they. The siblings lost their little sister. And uh, Louise, pray for uh, strength and comfort for Louise. She lost two brothers. And Hope would like us to pray for 100% restoration of all aspects of her marriage. And pray for the music band Dynamics grandmother. She lost her husband. Okay, now, uh, next... This is, uh, these will need probably tomorrow. I'll just let you know each day which ones need an update if they still need prayer. Uh, pray for Kiki's father, Mario. He has shingles and is in pain. Pray for Paula and her sons. Her husband was removed from life support. Pray for Angie and her family. Her father passed away. Pray for Brendan in Texas who just got throat cancer. Pray for Mary Ann, who needs God to be close with her. Pray for Dorothy. She needs out of her present living situation. Pray for Jackie Howard. Her insurance is trying to take her breathing machine away. Pray for David and his family. David's brother, Daniel, was shot and killed by a family member. David is taking it really hard. Pray for Alan. The part of the brain tumor they were unable to remove is growing and he's having complications from the extreme chemotherapy treatments they have him on. Okay. All right. And our, our uh, scripture of the day comes from Psalm 147, 1 through 5. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praises to our God, how pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, He gathers the exiles of Israel, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, He determines the number of the stars, he, and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, His understanding has no limit. Amen. Voices is giving me a little trouble. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, God Sees, Understands, and Cares. Sometimes living with chronic pain and fatigue leads to being isolated at home and feeling alone. I've often felt unseen by God and others. During an early morning prayer walk with my service dog, I struggled with these feelings. I noticed a hot air balloon in the distance. The people in its basket could enjoy a bird's eye view of our quiet neighborhood, but they couldn't really see me. As I continued walking past my neighbor's houses, I sighed. How many people behind those closed doors feel unseen and insignificant? As I finished my walk, I asked God to give me opportunities to let my neighbors know that I see them and care for them, and so does he. God determined the exact number of stars that he spoke into existence. He identified each star with a name, an intimate act that demonstrates his attention to the smallest details. His strength, insight, discernment, and knowledge have no limit in the past, present, or future. God hears each desperate cry and sees each silent tear as clearly as he notices each sigh of contentment and belly laugh. He sees when we, we're stumbling and when we're standing in triumph. He understands our deepest fears, our innermost thoughts, and our wildest dreams. He knows where we've been and where we're going. As God helps us see, hear, and love our neighbors, we can trust him to see, understand, and care for us. How have your neighbors loved you? How can you love others today? God Please help me see, hear, and love others in practical ways. 
And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a blessed morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Let's have a cup of coffee together. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great morning.